We're actually a little early today. So God bless my wife, Laura Bonamici, because she reminded me as I was rowing last this morning that I needed to get off the horse in the in the basement and get on the horse to get into the office early. Yeah. So. All right. Well, welcome, guys. Uh, we are here on Facebook. Uh, or actually, we're getting onto Facebook. We're on YouTube. And we are so glad you're here. Please like and subscribe. Um, I had some timing issues yesterday trying to get down here to start a Bible study. That's what I was just saying to Laura Bonamici. And trying to get connected um, was a little crazy because we have construction going on out in front of the church. So yeah, a little insane. Nancy, do you know what they're doing out in front of the church? Are they changing water mains or something? Or I don't know. I know that they're, I, I see them like opening the road up and then the next time I go by, it's closed. So I really don't know. They just say construction. I they were on the other side of the um, street last week. I think it's just, it's, it's a New Jersey thing um, that when they repave, um, they repave the street, they immediately have to dig it up and do, uti do, uh, do utility and, and infrastructure work. Because that's the way it is in, in, uh, in South River as well. Like literally they repaved Main Street and now there's, they're redoing all of the, all of the, all of the mains. That's just ridiculous. It's amazing. Although Brunswick Avenue and Old Stage Road are now nice and smooth. Yeah. But again, that's because we have the, uh, the glory of um, new development, right? Because yep. they had to repave that for the uh, for the new new uh, housing development going in. <laughs> but I'll take it. All right, here we are coming up live on Facebook. Laura, can you see it? Yep. Great. All right, let me get myself organized here, and we're good to go. Welcome, everyone. We're glad you're here. We are remembering Alexander Crummel today. Laura, do you remember Alexander Crummel from last year? No. no. I'm sure when she's when she start talking, I'll I'll uh, you'll you'll see my face go <laughs> aha. Nancy, do you remember? I think you were at the at the Eucharist when we did that, or that might have been two. It might have been on a Tuesday. So I'm not sure. Okay. So oh, hello, Luann. Good to have you with us. So um, so Alexander Crummel is a fascinating guy. He was uh, the child of a, a free woman of color and a, uh, a freed slave. He was born in New York City and uh, was baptized Episcopalian, grew up Episcopalian. His parents were abolitionists. In fact, in their home, the first, one of the first abolitionist newspapers was actually printed. He was, um, he was in the process of ordination uh, and uh, traveled to England for education because Unfortunately, because of his color, he was denied entrance into my seminary, the General Seminary in New York City. Um, and uh, so he had to travel to, to England and, and actually receive subscription help from uh, his friends and neighbors and family uh, to uh, be able to sustain himself in Cambridge for three years and was ordained there. He traveled on mission, was on mission in, uh, in Liberia for 20 years and actually was a founder of what was called the Pan-African Movement. Um, and a significant portion of that was trying to convince freed people of color and also people escaped, uh, of escaped enslaved peoples to um, come to Africa, to Liberia specifically, and the area around Sierra Leone. So all of that was this whole effort on his part during the 19th century to not only develop um, the church of color in New York City, Liberia, and Washington, D.C. eventually, but also to raise consciousness and to increase the, the, the early nascent movements of civil rights. So Father Crummel was one of those remarkable figures in our history for whom we give hearty thanks today and, uh, and really was a remarkable figure of the, 20th, of the 19th century and had significant influence on the 20th, particularly for Episcopalians. So we're honored to remember him today. Now, do you remember, Laura? I'm mixing him up. I can't remember the name of the, Episcop the, the Episcopalian priest of color who went to Haiti. 
mm. and encouraged everyone to uh, to have a free black society in Haiti. Yeah, now I can't remember his name. Yeah. There you go. So, sorry, I mixed them up. You know, that's why God made Wikipedia and uh, and the Anglican uh, the Anglican educational websites, so we can like, we educate. Like, I, w I was never great at pop quizzes. <laughs> All good. Well, let's let's have morning prayer, folks. And Lisa Ignatius is here, folks. If you have any intercessions you would like to have um, lifted up while we are uh, online here in our morning prayer session, please just put those in the comment section on Facebook, and uh, we are reviewing those. We'll lift those up. Uh, when we get to the intercession point in the service toward the end, when we offer free intercessions. I'll see intercessions five more times before we pause. The opening sentence, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God is the rock of our salvation. In unison together, O come, let us worship. Please join me in the invitatory. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. God is the rock of our salvation. O come, let us worship. Psalm 50 this morning, I'll offer the odd verses. You guys will respond with the even. The mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire and a mighty tempest all around him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. For every wild animal of the forest is mine, cattle on the hills and hills. I know all the birds of the air and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not, I would not tell you, for the world, the world and all that is in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows, your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to, but the, to wicked the wicked God, God says, what right, what right have you, have you to recite, recite my statutes or take, or take my covenant, covenant on, your on your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast mm -hmm. my words behind you. You make friends, make friends with a thief, thief when you see one, one and you keep, and you keep company, company with adulterers. With adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit, you sit and, speak and speak against, against your kin, you slander, you slander your, your own, own mother's child. child. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one just like yourself. But now, but now I, I rebuke you and lay the and charge, lay the charge before, you. before you. 
Mark this then, you who forget God, or I will tear you apart, and there will be none to deliver. <laughs> Those, those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice to honor me, to those, to those who go, who go the right way, way I, will I will show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, Thank is you. now, Amen. and will be forever. Amen. Uh, first reading, a reading from the book of Job. Job again took up his discourse and said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I look upon a virgin? What would my portion from God above and my heritage from the Almighty on high? Does not calamity befall the unrighteous and disaster the works of iniquity? Does he not see my ways and number all my steps? If I have walked with falsehood and my foot has hurried to deceit, let me be weighed in a just balance and let God know my integrity. If my step has turned aside from the way and my heart has followed my eyes, and if any spot has clung to my hands, then let me sow and another eat, and let what grows for me be rooted out. If my heart has been enticed by a woman and I have lain in wait at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind for another and let other men kneel over her. For that would be a heinous crime, that would be a criminal offense. For that would be a fire consuming down to Abaddon, and it would burn to the root all my harvest. If I have rejected the cause of my male or female slaves when they brought a complaint against me, what then shall I do when God rises up? When he makes me, when he makes inquiry, what shall I answer him? Did not he who made me in the womb make them? And did not one fashion us in the womb? If I have withheld anything that the poor desired, or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail, or have eaten my morsel alone, and the orphan has not eaten from it. For from my youth I reared the orphan like a father, and from my mother's womb I guided the widow. If I have seen anyone perish for the lack of clothing, or a poor person without covering, whose loins have not blessed me, and who was not warmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the orphan, because I saw I had supporters at the gate, then let my shoulder blade fall from my shoulder and let my arm be broken from its socket. For I was in terror of calamity from God and I could not have faced his majesty. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 16, the first canticle this morning, the song of Zechariah in unison. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father, Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> then certain individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debated with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to, to discuss this question with the apostles and the elders. So they were sent on their way by the church, and as they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, they reported the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the believers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all that God had done with them. 
But some believers who belonged to the, set of the sect of the Pharisees stood up and said, it is necessary for them to be circumcised and ordered to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders met together to consider this matter. After there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, my brothers, you know that in the early days, God made a choice among you that I should be the one through whom the Gentiles would hear the message of the good news and become believers. And God, who knows the human heart, testified to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And in cleansing their hearts by faith, he has made no distinction between them and us. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing on the neck of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sorry about that. Our second canticle, you are God, the Tadeum in unison. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, them now, now and, always. and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise, we praise you, you forever. forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we, we put our trust, trust in, you. in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall, and we shall never, never hope in vain. vain. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for your servant Alexander Crummel, whom you called to preach the gospel to those who are far off and to those who are near. Graze up in this and every land evangelists and heralds of your kingdom, that your church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We've been asked to pray for George and Sharon. As well, we pray for all those who are undergoing medical procedures and tests today. And we continue our prayers in this first week of school for many, for those who are returning to classrooms, either virtual or actual in real time. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart and especially the hearts of the people of this land that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Together we offer the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. All right, guys, it's a busy day ahead. We are so honored to have everybody here and also on Facebook. Uh, thank you for attending. And we will see you at 5 o'clock tonight as we close up the worship week and move on towards Sunday. So thank you, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.